ladies and gentlemen welcome today I'm doing a update and a simple test on the setup I have it running already and it is running now at around 3023 rpm I have here uh, three small uh, one watt uh, LED light bulbs I do not have like say 10 watt incandescent light bulb uh, the lowest I have is 28 watts and that's too, uh, just too much I'm gonna do a test with only one set of coils which is three I have in there a capacitor in line it is a 1.6 kV 0.1 UF capacitor this wire here is to bypass it later on so I'm gonna do the test with it in line Connecting now The system is slowing down That is certain The light output is uh, Yeah, I guess I would say it is 3 watt Nothing special But I'm not looking at the output Just looking for the effect A desired effect that is we had before um, 3023 rpm and with this load it is doing now 27 and 40 something and still decreasing yes what i'm gonna do now is bypass now i'm gonna remove the load let it get up to speed again I'm not going to wait for it uh, to get to the, uh, the lowest RPM lowest stable RPM with the load because that will take a while and I don't want to make the videos too long and boring input is around yeah, let's say below 20 volts DC at 1.5 amps What you will notice is that when I uh, bypass, I'm gonna bypass this capacitor now. Oops. There was some juice in there. The capacitor is being bypassed now, so when I hook the load the next time, you will notice that the RPM drop will be much more, uh, how you say that? Much, much more direct, much more roughly. Not as smooth as with the capacitor. With the capacitor in line, it was kind of, you can say, controlled way of decreasing the RPM. Let's see what the RPM is now. Yeah, that's about right. 29.67. So connecting the load without the capacitor, it is being bypassed, shorted out. Not shorted out, bypassed. Here it goes. Hmm. Ah, seems to be the same. I didn't expect that. Let's see what the RPM is doing now. 2850. Let's give it some time. It is still slowing down. The capacitor is being bypassed. So basically it's not in the system anymore. And the light, yeah. I'll say it's again 3 watt at most, not more. Um, let's check the RPM one more time. It is now sitting at 26.73. Uh, removing the uh, the short in other words the capacitor is now we're back in the system bypassing it we had 2667 let's see what it's doing now Uh, kind of 
still the same but it seems to be sitting around 2657 so it's roughly around yeah let's say 500 rpm drop something like that okay switch everything off lights are still going as always nothing special that was test numero one numero uno capacity in line uh, doesn't seem to do much effect with the capacitor or without it yeah maybe a little bit uh, next step I'm going uh, next test I'm going to um, step down the voltage of one of these set the same set that is a uh, 1 to 10 ratio uh, transformer gonna step it down I'm getting here around 220 or so volts so we'll be getting around the 20 or so and then I'm gonna rectify it so it should be around 18 something like that because the drive side is running on DC that's what I'm aiming for so the next video and next test will be on stepping it down without the capacitor first we'll take it step by step anyway enough rambling for now hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching